Okay guys, what I'm just going to run through with you very briefly is the structure and bonding of diamond. So this is one of the allotropes of carbon. There is another video available on this channel uh, for graphite, but we're just going to have a quick look at diamond. Now each carbon, this is an allotrope of carbon, which means the structure is different, but the element is the same. We've got carbon here, and each carbon, even though the ones on the edge don't demonstrate it, each carbon has a tetrahedral shape. The tetrahedral shape is because that causes for the least amount of repulsion between the four bond pairs of electrons. And the bond angle there is 109.5 degrees. Now this is a giant covalent lattice. And just with those three words, what you cover yourself for in the exam is you stated the type of bonding and that it's a giant lattice structure. Now, the covalent bonds in this are very strong, and in order to melt or boil this, what you've actually got to do is break or loosen those covalent bonds, and that requires a lot of energy. It's weird, though, because it's actually easier to melt diamond compared to graphite, but then it's harder to boil diamond compared to graphite. So it's a little bit weird. You might expect it would be diamond both times, but diamond is slightly easier to melt, but diamond is much more difficult to boil. I'm afraid you'll have to research that one for yourselves if you want to find out more about that. Now, diamond used to be referred to as the strongest structure known to man, but that got taken over recently by graphene. There's a really good video available on YouTube from the uh, Graphene Institute. It's the graphene flagship video, I think. It's really good. It's got like a little superhero graphene man on there. I definitely recommend you look that up. Otherwise, that doesn't take anything away from diamond. It is still a very strong material. I hope you found this video helpful just to sum up some of the finer points about diamond. Don't forget that 3D shape. Don't forget that lattice and that type of bonding. And don't forget to look up this video for graphene. There's a lot of buzz around graphene at the moment and you'll see it start to appear or related technologies appear in lots of different things in the coming months and years. Otherwise, make sure you send us a tweet at ASFC underscore chemistry if you want to know anything uh, else or if you want to know anything else to be gone through in one of these videos, a little tutorial perhaps on, I don't know, moles or enthalpy changes, you need to let me know.